Well, welcome to my, um, oh, let's just turn those mics down, those speakers down a bit, that's better. Uh, welcome to my Empire Total War Poland-Lithuania campaign again. Uh, this is uh, 6, 7, 8 I think it is, this one. And a bit of messing about as you'll know. I had decided to put these on the bridge in a defensive manner, I've changed my mind. I've decided that I'm going to use them much more offensively than that, so I'm going to put this one here. Um, hmm where? Perhaps to there first to damage that. Yep. Okay, and then onwards to there to siege that. Oh, it goes quicker of course when he goes through there, doesn't it? I'd forgotten about that. Okay, so he can siege there. These here I'm going to send off to various places. Oh, he can go a long way. I just want one that's going to go that far really, so let's have a look. What about that one? That one. That reach? I think that would just about reach, won't it? Okay, so I'm going down to here. I'm just going to sabotage everywhere, basically. Partly be Oh, I was going to say partly because I want to tempt him to come and attack me in places, but... Well, at least... Yeah, at least I've got him attacking me with just these and not everybody in there, because I sieged it first. Hmm. So that's good news. And I always do that, by the way. Well, I always try and remember to do that, anyway. Uh, hmm... Okay, so I've got my full army against just these. Let's go and fight the battle and find out what happens. Um, yeah, I have a feeling I might be better off. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can remember to record this um, afterwards, you know, so that you can then uh, watch it on record so it can be a lot quicker. But it's not going to be a fantastic battle. It's going to take a long time to get troops in, in position as well. Uh, but just to give you a brief outline while that's uploading, uh, I've had some terrible problems. I bought myself a Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, it works off USB, um, which means it plugs directly into a USB port, which means it doesn't go into the onboard sound card. So I need to be able to mix. So I've experimented with all sorts of different mix programs, and they're quite complicated, these programs, for somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. You know, um, it, it's almost like a mixing desk, only a virtual re mixing desk. And, and if you don't know what you're doing, you end up with a mess. Anyway, I managed to get my uh, mic working and the, get the game sounds, including music and everything. I thought, fabulous, this is great. cost me over £100 for this mic, by the way. And, um, and I thought... Yeah, things are good, but then when I played it back to myself, the sound was a bit diffracted. You know, it, it, I don't know what it was. Uh, I, I think it's just something to do with a mixer on the computer. I don't think it's going to be able to cope with it, I'm afraid. So, um, uh, okay, that said, I've been fiddling about with some of the codecs as well, which might help in the future, so um, in terms of video rendering. But I, I'm going to get on with this now, and then I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the results afterwards. Well, most of the work was done by the pikemen there. Um, I, I don't think it was worth saving that battle, really. There was a wall in front of the enemy, so I just went flying for that wall, really, as quickly as possible, so that I could get a good shot against him. I don't know. Oh, I didn't count how many got away there. It's a nuisance, isn't it? He's got some horse and some foot. I just did a... Um, hmm, I shouldn't have done that. I should have chased him off the field. I had no idea he was going to be getting away with some men there. That's uh, really quite disappointing. Okay, uh, I was on my way to here, wasn't I? I seem to remember. To damage that building. And... Hmm. I think I damaged that one, didn't I, on the way? Somewhere. Why isn't that damaged? I'm sure I went into there... On my way. Uh, that's a bit odd, isn't it, really? That building there, I would have thought, should be damaged, really. I think that's a bit of a bug, that, isn't it? Okay, so now I've got um, hmm. I've got a horse in here that I can still move, I think. And he's got foot and something else in there, isn't he now? Shall I take a risk? I forget what he's got. Let's have another look. He's got horse and foot. He shouldn't have much of either, though, should he, really? Can I send foot up there as well? Not that can reach, no. Uh, just send some horse. Could send two lots of horse, couldn't I? Okay, let's send two lots of horse up there to clear those away. Just send a general as well. Um, could do. Okay. Let's send those three up there just to clear those away, shall we? I might do an auto resolve on this. Oh, they went the funny way around. Oh, that's the high bridge somebody's telling me about. He said, don't forget there's a higher bridge. 
You're quite right, there is. It's 21 and 71. How did he get 71 infantry away from that? We'd have wiped them out. That's a silly result, really. Well, I suppose that makes up for it. 15 losses. Okay, I'll accept that. And his fleet are now out to sea, so I hope he's got some enemies that might want to attack him now there. That'd be nice. And because that place isn't damaged, I'm going to throw the general in there and bring him back again just to cause a bit of damage. Why isn't oh, it is damaged. Excellent. Okay, so we're damaging everything. We should be upsetting him. Hopefully, he's going to be tempted to come out of there somewhere and break this siege. Um, hmm, I don't know. Will he go for the port? My best option will be if he goes for the port, really, because then I can um, I can attack him from elsewhere. What am I doing in terms of uh, technology? Yep, that's good. And yep, that's good. So I think, yeah, I, I think that's all I can be doing for now. All right, uh, the, my problem is that he's got some wandering strafes around here, just these here. I haven't really got anybody that can reach him at the moment, so he's bound to damage something. It's more than likely to be this, isn't it? Which is a nuisance. Let's hope the Austrians attack him before he gets a chance to do that. So, Okay, end turn. Let's see what happens this time. I think that's all I need to do, isn't it? Let's hope so. Okay. Uh, have I turned my time up? No, I haven't. 6 and 43 seconds. Right, oh, just speed this one up a little bit. Um, I don't think we need to see all of those. You can always slow those down. In fact, somebody said, well, I speed those up anyway, so... So... Ah, oh, do you know, I thought he was going for those Prussians then in the middle. He didn't do, though, did he? What a shame. Okay. Oh. Right, he is going for it. That's good. I think we'll retreat... Can't we retreat? I can't believe I can't retreat. I can't retreat. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on and fight the battle. And then what I'm going to just do is just withdraw them from the battlefield. But um, I'll, uh, well, I don't know, show you the result. There won't be a result. It'll just be a defeat anyway. Well, that went down as a crushing defeat, but I'm not bothered because um, I just wanted to get them out of there and out of the way. That's what a horse should be all about, isn't it, really? Retiring from an army like that. But they've caused enough disruption to... Oh, can I retreat from that one? What's he sent? Doesn't look like a very big army, does it? For five. He sent five up there. Well, he won't have been able to recruit anyway, will he? So maybe that's his army. Maybe that's all he's got there. So let's retreat from there then. Oh, he's coming at me again. Can I retreat again? No, I can't. So I'm going to go on and do the same thing again. Just uh, withdraw from the battlefield and see what happens. Well, as you can see, that's another crushing, crushing defeat. Um, so, hope we get out of there. Let's see if we do. Yes, we have. Yeah, he went for that um, university, didn't he? Like I expected. Or college, or whatever you call it. Probably not much more than the school in reality. Anyhow. Uh, oh. Ottomans are taking some thinking time. So, anyway, the good news has happened. Um, I've prevented him from recruiting this turn. He could have got about another four, maybe even five extra units. Certainly a minimum of three in that turn, because that's his capital. Um, I've also drawn his main army away from the capital. Um, uh, so now, hopefully, I'll be able to attack it without, um, without his main armies in there. It'll just be garrison troops that I'm facing, with a little bit of luck. Uh, and, of course, I've destroyed lots of buildings around. Uh, which means he'll be spending resources on that as well. So let's hope that this is the demise of the Prussians now. That all I need to do now is fight his garrison army. And that his other army can't come back in support. Interesting they went for the port, isn't it? It was more interesting in getting me out of the port than getting me out of anywhere else. That's obviously because of the trade income he gets from there, and that's another issue for me, of course. This is the area that I most want. Uh, the game advises that I go for the Crimea, because it's good for uh, for its port, you know, for its trade. But no, I, I, the Prussians attacked me, so I, I thought I'm going to get them out of the game as soon as possible. So, Right, uh, let's see what I can do with that port, if I take it. Enemy raid. 
Yeah, that's the one I expected, wasn't it? So, shall we repair that? I think so. Okay, now I expect, I hope, yes, look, he is now empty in there. So oh if I attack, attack, hopefully he won't be able to come to the aid of his own capital. Excellent. So we'll do a siege. Uh, where is it? Continue siege. Hasn't got any good troops in there. It should be well in my favour, that one. Oops, sorry about that. Just wanted to have a look where my other troops were. I should have some horse around here somewhere. Uh, I think it was that one, was it? So, let's join those up. Should have some more horse somewhere. Where are you all? There's one here. Uh, let's get that one in, here, in there as well. Okay, and... I thought there was another one. He's been kicked out of there. I got two, three. I, I brought two back then, didn't I? Three, I think. What about this in here? Nope. I don't know who the other one is. I could have swore I had, a, had more horse than that. I thought I had a full twenty. Let's have a look and see if I've got a full twenty. No, I'm one missing. So there must be another horse unit hiding somewhere. Skulking. Come on, where are you? Aha! There you are. Excellent. And he can reach. Brilliant! Right, well, let's go in there and see what we can do now. There's a full 20. <laughs> He's not going to go for a surrender, is he? No. So, anyway, it's well in my favour, that one. There's no point in fighting that one, I don't think. So, I'll auto-resolve that, and it's a victory. 873 lost. Actually, I should have fought that one, shouldn't I, really? Because, um, yeah, I'm going to need those men, I think. Let's repair all of these, see if I've got enough money. I hope so. Yep. I did spot. There it is. Let's get rid of that as well. That's the um, the Protestant one. We don't want the Protestant one in this game. Uh, because uh, the Poles, of course, are um, Roman Catholic. So, region captured. Yes, we know about that. Nation destroyed. Excellent. Successful mission. That's my spy. Successfully completed his mission. Well, I don't know what that was, but anyhow. Recruitment reports. Yeah. Uh, all over the place. Poland, Lithuania, etc. So, yeah, we needed those, really, for to help the garrisons. Construction report. Military governor's barracks. Good. So we'll be able to get some better troops there. Uh, military technology. Military syllabus. Ah. So that means... I can now get... Hmm, actually, before I do that... Ah, now, let's see what we can... Oh, right, okay. Uh, let's get this right. This one here, I, I wanted so I can get the better universities. That isn't the one I've got. So, what I'm going to do is get this one to get it instead. Uh, because that's going to take a turn to um, to sort itself out. I don't know what that's... What's that getting? I'm not... I don't want that. So, let's have something else. Well, I think I'll go for the uh, the farms for now. Uh, yeah, okay, and what else did I want to do? I fully replenished in here. I should now be able to get a barracks somewhere, a decent barracks, because of that uh, technology. So I get it in. Yes, I can get it in there. Is that the best place? I was thinking actually the best place. Mm. Russia, of course, are close to me. Mm. I'm also thinking about taking Austria next. That's my main target, of course. I think... Oh. No, it's got to be a bigger place than that. What about this one? I think it's going to be Warsaw, isn't it, really? So in Warsaw, we've got one of these. Main reason for getting that, really, is not because I want the better troops. I think you just get Grenadiers and something else, but maybe Light Dragoons. The main thing is that once I've got this, I can go for Socket Bayonet. I can get Socket Bayonet and, more to the point, Fire by Rank. So... Okay, so not much fun for uh, for battles, that one, I'm afraid. The battles weren't particularly good anyway, fairly easy things. You see, the thing is, I've got ring bayonets and they haven't. Hey, now that reminds me. Can I negotiate, perhaps with Britain, maybe, over a technology? You see, look, they haven't even got bayonets. They've got nothing, have they? They've got physiography. physiocracy. To bonus to growth in trade route income, plus four town wealth in the region, eight generated by farms. That's quite a nice one to have that, isn't it? Oh, 
Did they take something for that? Um, should we even plug bayonet for that? No, not for that. For that, no. For that. Okay, worth a try, isn't it? Physiocracy for plug bayonet. Little to commend them. No, they don't want that. Okay, is there somebody else that will negotiate with me? Perhaps France. Uh, they don't pose much of a risk to me, do they? Oh, again, nobody's got even the basics, have they? It's just ridiculous. They've got physiocracy. Okay, we'll go for plug bayonet in return for uh, canister shot. No, actually, I don't think I do want that. Um... Maybe I want the dockyards. Let's see what they give to us. Monsieur proposals. They've wasted our time. And I'm wasting your time doing this as well, aren't I, really? Which is all very silly. Actually, I could give them a trade agreement. Let's... let's I know. Let's do the same thing again. Technology. I want... Uh, physiocracy. Uh, trade route income. Um, and I will offer them a trade agreement. How's that, then? Delighted that our talks have ended with success. Good day to you, sir. Excellent. Okay, so we've got physiocracy. That that will improve our um, uh, trading ability. Uh, Denmark, I don't know how much of a threat they are to me. Um, might be worth trading with Denmark. I don't know what they can offer me, though. Let's have a look, shall we? Open negotiations. What technology have they got? They've got canister shop. They've got common land enclosures, that's good for farms. Maybe I should get that, actually. Um, population growth reduces the chance of food shortages. I think I might go for that and offer them a trade agreement. Trade agreement, I'm already offering. And canister shot. Okay. Little to commend them. Okay, so you don't want it. Mughal Empire, oh, I'm not, I don't think it's important to trade with them, really. I think I've probably... Um, done all I need to do in terms of trade for now. There are some minor nations, but I'll, I'm going to have to have a bit of thinking time about those. It's maybe the Mughals, they're far enough away from me, aren't they? So, Okay, plug bayonet, canister shot and square formation. Common land enclosures. I thought I'd got that for the trade agreement. Hang on a minute. I didn't tick it, did I? Damn. On trade agreement. Good day to you, sir. Right, good. So we now have got common land enclosures. Let's see what we have what we've got now. Right, okay, so these now need to research something else, don't they? Naval shore facilities will enable me to have a dockyard and I can get some better quality ships. That's a nice one to have. Uh you notice you can't move on to these without having that. It might be worth me having that square as well, actually. Oh no, you can actually. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Yes, you can. I must be thinking about something else, something along here. Um, is it this one? It's this one, isn't it? Without that, I can never move to that. Might just be worth me going for that instead. Um, will do. Okay, so we'll go for that. And then, of course, Krakow is um, coming on on board soon as well. So, and of course, that then is only one move away, and that's when I can get some good universities. Right, well, I think that's probably about it. It's about a 20 minute video, that. Uh, I want to try and keep them as um, as brief as possible at the moment, so the upload times are reduced significantly. So, fairly successful round knocking Prussia out of the uh, the campaign. That's the main thing. Okay, well, that was video six or eight, I think. Um, and let's hope that one goes up tonight. Fingers crossed.